Okay, I'm going to start uh, adding some new features to my tutorial list. Uh, I'm going to do other things other than just LightWave. I'm going to do uh, many different uh, 3D related things, news, product reviews, things like that. I'll keep doing LightWave tutorials, so don't worry. But this is Blender. Uh, this is an introduction to Blender. And uh, I am not a Blender maestro by any means, but I just wanted to show you just the bare bones. Blender is an open source, free to download, free to use, free to install, free to render. Um, 3D animation package and it's got quite a few uh, interesting features. If you see the movie Big Buck Bunny online you'll see just how capable it is. It's quite quite capable. But it's a bit weird to use. Um, so one of the things I wanted you to realize is that the UI for this is, is different, very different from the UI for other 3D programs. So for example um, selecting items is done with the right mouse button instead of the left mouse button and manipulating is done with the left and in most programs I've used it's the opposite okay so um, and uh, let me show you how to manipulate the uh, world here let me hold down sp hit spacebar and that will bring up a pop-up and I can add I'm gonna add a cube to the scene so we have something to look at alright so um, to manipulate the 3d view I can hold down the middle mouse and that will orbit my view. And scrolling the scroll wheel will uh, zoom in and out. And holding shift and middle mouse will translate my view. All right, so there's the basics. And then um, the number pad um, keys will change your viewport. For example, zero is the camera view and one is, I think, top two and three so you'll be able to use these at, at various points all right so that's that's how that works I've gotten a bit kind of discombobulated here but all right so um, that's the basics of that and the other thing is um, you can also manipulate the, your your UI and customize it in, in various ways so for example um, one thing to realize is that if we go to something like Let's, okay, here's here's one that has a lot of different buttons on it. These buttons down here in the button view actually respond to the translation as well. So as you can see, if I hold down the middle mouse button, I can translate, I can move around in my UI here. And if I hold control and shift, I can zoom in on my buttons so I can get a better look at them. So which is nice for doing these tutorials because I can move and show you exactly what you want to see. And it's, it's kind of a neat trick that it does there. All right, so um, <clears throat> you're going to see that it's broken up into panels. And by default, you'll have a 3D view and the button view down here. And you can change this panel to other things. As you can see, there's a timeline and a text editor. Your user preferences are in here. You can change the <clears throat> from left mouse to right mouse. So you can uh, select with the left mouse instead of the right. But I've noticed that that screws up emulate three mouse, three button mouse for some reason. At least when I've done it, so I've just been leaving it like this. But you can change all of your preferences in the uh, in the uh, user preferences view. Uh, the button window is where most of the stuff that happens that you'll normally need. Um, you'll manipulate your object here. This is your material view, and um, you have scripts. There's even like a game uh, interactive. <coughs> um, option here that, that this panel is for. And here's your render your render view um, options. You can render from here or you could hit F12. Alright so let's um, <clears throat> let me show you then uh, how to uh, work with objects and do a little bit of quick and dirty modeling and that's all for this tutorial. <clears throat> Alright so um, we're in object mode right now and there's various modes you can paint something or you can edit something. So I'm going to hit tab and now I can actually start manipulating the <coughs> object itself. <clears throat> so um, I can go ahead and select, right now I have the vertices so if I were to right click on a vertice I could move it around and uh, I could right click on a edge and move that and uh, I could right click on a face and manipulate that face. I'm going to right click on a face and I'm going to hit E and that will extrude. You'll see the uh, little white line shows you where it's going to extrude to. And uh, I'll move down. E again. Right click over here. E. E. And I'll spin around with my middle mouse 
uh, right click E E. All right, so now I've got like a T uh, shape. I'm going to hit tab and now I'm back into the object mode where I can manipulate it and, and animate it. <clears throat> okay, so that's a basic um, basic there. Um, we'll go back to this view here, the camera view. And um, I'm, I'll show you just real quick how to um, add some uh, modifiers to this and uh, then that'll be it for this thing. It's just a very basic introduction. So if I wanted to, for example, in Lightwave, you have um, the um, subsurface, um, which you would just use by hitting the tab key in Modeler. Here you have to add a subsurface modifier. Oops, I added something by mistake. I'll hit the X to delete it. Add modifier subsurf, and you'll see it starts smoothing it for us. And so if we zoom in here, you can see that for the subsurface, I can choose the type of subsurface, and I can choose the levels that are shown. So the render level I'm going to set to 4, and the view level I'll set to 2. And so now when I render, you'll see that I have a smooth object. Okay, And there's various things you can do with this, um, but I won't get into everything right now. Uh, auto smooth and see if, how that makes it. So auto smoothing things. You'll have to, in order to get rid of the gritty uh, edges here, you'll have to do that in the material view, which you'll, I'll do that on another uh, tutorial. So that's just the very bare bones basic look at how Blender operates, and I hope it's useful for you.